All right, continuing our questions. Is it possible to have a skatey single fit? Absolutely. So actually one of the first board models we ever made here at Almond Surfboards that Griffin and I worked on together. Actually, the first board that Griffin and I ever worked on together was our cucumber model. We still offer it. It's a kind of diamond tailed short board single fin ranging from like five, six ish to six, six or so. Um, kind of that sweet spot though is like that five, 10 range. Um, we also have that template available as a free download on our website if you want to try shaping one of your own. But so the cucumber was intended to fall halfway between a kind of classic fish and <clears throat> more of a like shortboardy outline, but it's a <clears throat> excuse me, it's a single fin shortboard with a wider tail. So what that tail did was it sat a little higher in the water. That wider diamond gave that board a lot of drive and a lot of that kind of like side slippy skatiness that I think people are referring to when they talk about a skatey surfboard, something that kind of sits in planes high in the water, um, generates speed well, and then you can still kind of go rail to rail with it. It was a very fun, or it is a very fun down the line board. You can generate speed on it really well and then do big wrapping turns. It's not as much of a like vertical, you know, top to bottom smaller board, but it's a great like more down the line, more lateral uh, smaller board. And I would say that's a very skatey single fin. Although I think why the question is probably being asked is like what single fins tend to do is give you a lot of drive and like kind of a cleaner tracking board, less of that like, you know, side slippage, but with the combination of kind of a wider tail and your foot right there on top of that, uh, right there on top of that fin. Yeah, it's a pretty skatey board and it, it's fun. I think it kind of foots the bill for probably what this customer is asking for. Yeah, the width and the tail is gonna really help as far as generating speed and the ability to push through turns and that skatey feeling that you're looking for. The more pulled in the tail is, the less you're gonna really be able to push your weight or anything in regards to that tail. Um, and when you're looking for something skatey or loose, um, width and tail is really helpful to achieve that type of feeling. 